It's great to be here with the men and women of Tank Craft. This November, there's going to be a clear choice. A choice of two paths our country is going to take. A choice as to who's going to rebuild our economy. A choice as to who's going to bring back jobs. And to me, that choice is clear. President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence will lead this country and bring back jobs to America, to Wisconsin, and to Darien. Are you with me? <laughs> Vice President Mike Pence is fighting for Wisconsin workers and families, fighting to get workers back to work, fighting to protect our health, fighting to keep America safe. The Trump administration passed USMCA and trade agreements that put American workers and American farmers first. And the Vice President knows Wisconsin, and he's fighting for us. We all know how important it is to keep our communities safe. And I'm proud to join President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence in backing the badge, supporting the men and women of law enforcement, and opposing those who call to defund police. We stand with the men and women of law enforcement, and I know there's a number of them here, from Sheriff Kirk Picknell to all the other men and women who are wearing the badge today. Please join me in giving all of our law enforcement officers a round of applause for what they do for us. Vice President Mike Pence is a man of faith, a man dedicated to our conservative principles, a leader for our country. He's also a frequent traveler to Wisconsin. In the last 12 months, he's been to Madison, to Onalaska, to Ripon, to Pleasant Prairie, and he joins us here today in Darien, Wisconsin. I, you almost have a hunch he or somebody on his team really loves Wisconsin Chiefs. Or beer, or beer. Could be Wisconsin beer. Fair enough. We know the Vice President knows Wisconsin. He knows our values. He cares about America's dairy land and our workers, our farmers, and jobs here in our state. Unlike Joe Biden and the National Democrats, who won't even come to our state for their own national convention? And did you see, did you see that they removed the state of Wisconsin from the logo of the DNC convention? Instead of being here and listening to us, the left is relying on liberals from Hollywood hosting their convention. And if I have any guests, they're going to end their convention in a basement on the East Coast. But here in Wisconsin, but here in Wisconsin, we know this to be true. Vice President Mike Pence knows Wisconsin and is fighting for Wisconsin. So please join me in giving a warm Wisconsin welcome to our Vice President Mike Pence. 